though. I just know this video is going to be a calamity. I do apologise. I'm so out of loop from it. I don't think I filmed for about three weeks, but about three days is enough to throw me off scent. I'm not going to lie. Um, so today's video is a Primark try on haul. Um, I'm really excited to share these bits with you. I feel like it's been a while since I've managed to get some bits from Primark. You'd probably say that it'd be like a month ago that I was in there. Um, but I found like this is a real haul. It's a real haul. I feel like there's been like ones where I've gone three or four bits and stuff. This is a real haul. What's that film that of? I've seen Bridget Jones. It's a fight. It's a real fight. Um, yeah, it's a real haul today, guys. So I've got some dresses. I've got some tops. I've got a skirt. I've got some shoes. I've got some accessories. So I'm going to share this with you now. I'm going to get in with the first one. As always, I've just got a comfy bra on and I've got a pair of these spank shorts now i get asked about these all the time so we'll clear these up these are very old primark however they are not shaping ones when my belly is sticking out it still is they've got no secureness to them at all um so the show the clothes will show a true reflection one it's just to not be as naked on the camera but two i'm also on my period which i know is a bit of tmi but obviously i wear sandwich towels i'm wearing knickers underneath this and i don't want you to see wings of underwear because it's just a bit of an off put isn't it so i've got my uh cycling style short things on um i will recommend some i am going to be doing a recommendation of like things like skims and spanks i'm going to be trying them all on and showing you what the best ones are and i'm going to be doing it with one body con dress so i'll show you what it looks like with nothing at all what it looks like with some big like holding knickers and what it looks like with some more structured stuff so you can see exactly what they look like so i can rate them prices quality wise whether they roll up um, and i will be doing that next week um so everything's come they're all great and i'm going to share them all with you um but today is primark so let's get in rosie and stop nattering so the first thing i got was i'm not gonna lie i am so excited to share this dress it is now spring boring rosie is kind of over um <laughs> just look at this dress guys i'm sorry look at this maxi now this cost me 22 pound this is a wedding guest baby shower any event occasion for the summer and spring no one's gonna know it's primark because it's absolutely beautiful you can style it up with different sounds i'm gonna whack it on anyway get me dressed off it people normally ask where my other dresses are from this was from in the style oh get the boobs out pop them out <laughs> and the funny thing is i've been going to the gym recently and um <laughs> I had like my sports bra and I was sweating so much that I sweated the tan off there. So you might notice it might be a bit weird and you can see my little lopsided boobs. Welcome to womanhood. Um, so I'm going to get this dress on. <laughs> my little sad nipples that are like mm, <laughs> to the floor. They don't stand up on end anymore. They haven't for a very long time. And if I don't have a bra on, they're like here. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I'm going to get this dress on. I've got this in a size 16. Because I've said this before, I'm not going to gym to lose weight. I'm doing it for my health, more cardiovascular. Is that it? Got the word right the first time. And also, so you'll see from the dresses, they fit me the same as they did last year, the size 16s. If anything, I've got a bit bigger. Um, right, so we've got a little loop here. I'm assuming there's a button. I might have got so muscly under the chub that I might not even, this might not even fit. Is there a button on here? Oh, so the button's missing. Good start, Primark. So there's a little loop there. So it looks like there should be a button there somewhere to loop that over. Not a good start, is it? But let's get into the, to the dress. So imagine that would be like that. That's really annoying. I'm going to have to tuck this under my bra because to get the real look around the boobs of what it would have been like, because the button obviously would have been about here. There's a thread there. So I'm assuming that would have been where it was. And we're going to tie it up at the waist. How annoying is that? I mean, I'll, I could just sew one in. I might just take it back, get another one, but you could just sew a button in. I've got buttons, nifty, because if you send it back, they won't put another button in it, will they? And it might just go to someone that don't know how to sew. Um, so the sleeves are beautiful on this. Really, really nice. And I like that they're kind of loose, not too tight, because I find sometimes if they're a bit restrictive, um, the wrap would be a lot nicer if obviously the button was there, but it's not there. So we'll just have to go with it. So we'll go back so you can see. If the wrap has got like a ruffle all the way down it, and it's sort of like tulips at the bottom, it's a tulip shape. I'm five foot three for reference, and this is a really nice sort of maxi length at the back. So it's coming, you know, to the anklets. 
Um, I'm thinking I've got a little pair of blush strappy sandal high heels that I got off Simply B a few years ago, wide foot, because they do like wide foot, and also the strap around the calf. I thought if you have bigger calves, which are amazing. Um, so I'm thinking maybe wear this. I could even put like a little baby pink fascinator in, maybe like a little lime greeny one to go with this. It's got little pops of black in it as well, so you could bring out the black as well if you've got more black accessories. Um, really flattering, really nice, nice and roomy. I've actually got quite a lot of room in this. Um, once that button would be done up, it would be nice and fitted here, but it is quite spacey for a 16. So I thought this was really nice. I love the sleeves and high back as well. So this is really nice. Shame about the button on the first start, but that's fine. Right. Now we've got this dress. Quite a bit of a running nose, guys. But I do apologize. And um, so I've got this dress. Now they had this dress in a lavender and they also had it in a bluey like a darker blue color which i thought was beautiful like a cobalt blue and um, cobalt blue this is size 16 and this is 22 pound too and i thought this was really beautiful so i got a dress from primark a couple years back and it's a, like a ready like a tangerine red and um, like you know like a very vibrant orangey red um dress from primark it was 18 pounds and i kid you not I got so many compliments in it because it had such lovely oversized puff sleeves. Always got the zip at the side. Undo that because we all know that won't be doing enough otherwise. Um, and then... But I thought to go for this sort of like minty green. Oh, I love this colour. Oh, and them sleeves are delightful. Let's see what the fit's like. The neckline's nice. Really demure. Really lovely actually. This looks like it could definitely be like from Nobody's Child or something. Actually, I'll pay 22 quid for it. It's from Primark. Right, so I am a size 16 to 18. Normally 18 on bottom. Sorry. <laughs> Wear a thicker bra. Um, but it is really nice. I would say it's like a bit wishy-washy around here. But it's a bit loosey. I don't know. I love the style of it though, so I'm a bit torn. So I'm an 18 on bottom, but this is a 16, so we have got a little bit of tightness around the belly. But as I say, these aren't sort of spank material, they don't hold me in. So if I did want to have like a, a smoother, I could sort of like have a smoother knickers to sort of pull it in if I wanted to. But to be honest with you, it's really nice. So lovely length as well. Loads of space and swish factor to this. I'm sorry, but I do live in a bit of a dream world. I can imagine a wicker bag, some little strappy sandals, some little sunglasses, riding a bike. I haven't even got a bike, but I'll be riding a bike. <laughs> I need to get a bike. I'm thinking of Millie's bike. Millie's bike is this colour. It's got a little basket on the front and it's so cute. And um, yeah, riding a little bike to a little local florist or the butchers and looking like a right idiot because I can't ride a bike very well. I can ride a bike very well. I'm lying. I used to do stunts on my BMX as a kid. Um, <laughs> can't do that one then wash bags but you know what I mean the wind blowing in the hair driving along on the bike putting like a baguette in the front of the basket just to feel that vibe this is what this dress is oh you can wear this with some little converse this is definitely an event dress I think I might go back and get the lavender I really like this I'm gonna say stay with the 16 for me because even though it's a little bit fitted here it's nice and loose around here my biggest part and to be honest with you, I've got it any bigger, it would be a bit too loose around the boobies. And I think it's meant to have that bit of shape to it. Um, it's not meant to, yeah, because that doesn't look very nice like that. It's meant to have that bit of like a flarity to it. Um, I love the sleeves. And they've got like an inside sleeve that's like a nice cotton material. So yeah, very, very nice. Not sweaty. £22 for this one. Then I found a skirt. I found a skirt. I am really in love with this skirt. I'm hoping it's going to look as good on me as my imagination has dreamt it up to be. So, with the power, <laughs> with the power vested in me, I now pronounce you naked. Right, let's get on to the next. I'm gonna pair it up with a top that I got, but let's go up to the skirt. Let me put a top on first, because it just feels random. So I got this top. Why it's inside out, I won't know. Oh, I know why, because it was the last one left. It's still on the hanger. All rambled up. It's the last one left, but I know it was the same price as there was. This was £13, this. But the lady said they might be putting more out, but I was it was like nearly closing time. I wanted to get back, it was getting quite late. I got this really nice sort of knitted vest. These are very on trend. 
Um, so I love these because actually when they're no longer on trend and people are like, no, I can't wear it again, I will wear it. I wear it like this, but also you can wear this over a shirt and it will just look really nice, it's like a knitted vest. 13 pounds, size large. Really, really nice shape around the tatties. The tatty tatties, very, very nice. I like that it covers that tattoo quite a bit. Really nice sort of size. Large is a 14 to 16, I think it is. Yeah, large is a 14 to 16. Um, really, really love this shape on here. Obviously, I'm a 16 on top, so it's perfect sizing for the top. Really like this. It's got like a like a motley sort of material to it. Really nice. And then I'm going to be wearing it with... See, now I've got this in a size 16 because I want the actual waist bit to fit really nicely and not gape. So if I get a size 18 to fit my bottom, because my waist is smaller, it tends to gape. And this is a wrap. So I thought, worst case scenario, I can adjust the button in this to make it more awkward to me. Because I'm not going to get a skirt like this anywhere else for £14. So even if I have to adjust it slightly, it's worth it. So it's this lovely faux linen look. It's like a beige with a little bit of a creamy mix to it. And... Like I say, size 16, I paid £14 for this. I'm going to pull the blouse up, the, sh the um, vest up, shall I say. So, so, as you can see, it's a nice width on my waist. If I'd have got, so, because that's my smallest part here, if I'd have got the size 18 to fit here better, it would just be not very well fitting at all. Um, so, I've got the wraps, but this might be the problem now that where it gets around to my, my hippies. Do it up. Oh, how do I do it up then? How am I, how am I doing this up? <laughs> sure you can tighten it. Lift it up a bit. Yeah, if I lift it up a bit, then it might give a bit more material around the bottom. Right. Oh, I don't know now. I feel like I should have gone for the 18 because the split is just not matching. <laughs> this is the problem. I went for the waist and completely forgot that my hips are an 18 and they're like, no, it ain't happening, Rose. Um, <laughs> if I bring it to the side, maybe if I have like a side split, or oh, maybe, no, because then the bow is too far around there. Yeah, should have got the gate in this one. Bad foul, that's fine. Um, so should have got the 18. <laughs> so if you only got the 18, you would have had the double layer and it would have looked a little something like this, but I need to go back and get the 18 because I'm delusional. Um, but maybe not with this top either because it's just going to gather little bit or you can just tuck it under the bra to get like a nice little seam maybe like a little uh tag belt to break it up like tie this round to tuck it in and maybe a little brown belt but yeah i did like this i'll show you the length anyway but this has got to go back i've got to get that in but i do really love the um the length style the material and the price um but it has got to go back for an 18 because like i say Rosie thinks she's smaller than she is, and I'm not. Um, I'm gonna try the other vest on, because I've got another vest, but I got this to wear with jeans, or maybe like a black skirt. Sorry, I'm a bit all whiffy, if we, um, wishing all over the place now. Right, get this one off. So this one was also 13 pounds, and this was also a size large. 14, uh, 13 pounds size large, shall I say. Um, and I thought this was beautiful. I mean, look at the crocheted sort of effect of this. This is really nice. And over, like, even like a black blouse, like a shirt, come autumn, would be great. But as it is the season now, it's lovely. Oh, this would look really nice for this skirt. It's oh, annoying. I'm going to go there today, I think. I might take it back today. If I can bother to drive. Um, but I'll take it back. Like this, got the little black detail here, because then if you get makeup or transfer, because it's normally them bits that touch it, isn't it? Let's take the um, skirt off. A nice pair of like flared black linen -y trousers as well. Might look really nice with this. And it's got the little black hem at the bottom as well. I really like this vest. I thought that was really nice. And it's got like the V at the back as well, which is nice. The other one did as well, had the V at the back. So yeah, I really like this. So maybe some gold jewellery, that'll look really cute. And then I also got, let me move these bits out of the way. Got a few little accessories. I said a few little accessories. I've got some shoes and I've got some earrings. So I've got a pack of these, two pound little pearly earrings. I've actually got, Millie's got the really tiny ones in and I've got like the fourth size ones in now, but they have like the larger ones on there, smaller ones. 
two quid. Like, I thought they looked really cute. They look really elegant as well, like with little outfits and stuff. I've been loving the jewellery in Primark. They've got some amazing sunglasses and that as well. And then I also got these. Now, I know these are going to be an acquired taste. However, I've wanted a pair of these. Probably, they always comes in fashion on like the sort of catwalk first before it comes in fashion in the high street stores. And I saw a picture of this lady wearing these little Mary Jane pumps, probably not even this Christmas, the Christmas before. It was a long while ago and I loved them. And I showed my sister and she was like, they're ugly. And I was like, okay. And I'm not usually influenced by what other people say. I like what I like. And then I said to Gary, I might get somebody. He was like, oh, I hate flat shoes. Gary hates flat ballet pumps. He's like, well, they're the worst kind of shoes. I don't know why, he's just got like a phobia towards them. So I was a bit like, well, okay, whatever. And he's like, no, get them if you like them. But I'm like, oh no, I don't really want to wear shoes. And Gary be like, they're awful. Do you know what I mean? I want to be like, wow, babe, you look fantastic. But obviously, if you don't like it, you don't like it. He's not gonna lie to me. Um, so it left it. Now they've come into ultra, ultra fashion and everyone's wearing them. A bit like socks and sliders, it becomes acceptable. So if people think they're ugly, I don't care, because I know a lot of you will not think they're as ugly. And one good thing is, now they've become mainstream fashion, I've got them for a tenner, rather than 75 quid on the place, the only place that was selling these kinds of shoes, two Christmases ago. Um, so yeah, they were a bit of an acquired taste then. These weren't in the ladies section, they were usually in the girls section, like the teenage section, uh, the little girls one. And um, there was only one shop and they were 75 pound on offer, that was selling shoes like this. Um, so I've got these for £10. We've got a padded insole. I haven't had to spend a fortune for them, so that's really good with Primark. The sole is lovely and padded. As you can see, little mock velvety. I will say, I don't go for the leather ones in Primark because I don't feel like they look like real leather. I think they look a bit plasticky and sometimes they can look a little bit cheaper. Um, so they had these in beige, but they didn't have them in my size, which is a shame. But going for more like the velvety type, I feel like they look a bit more elevated. Um, that is just a personal choice. Um, and I know some people prefer vegan products and stuff anyway, so they probably wouldn't care. Um, but I do like leather products. I do eat meat, so I don't see the point in not using all of it. I've um, got a leather sofa, but I do like real leather because it breaks down and it's so quality and you can just have it for years and years and years and look after it. And um, yeah, really love real leather. So I love that real look. So I think maybe because I love real leather so much, I can really tell the difference. Some people might not, but I just, yeah, don't really like the leather shoes in Primark. So always like the velvety ones. I'll pop it on. I've got a size six because they're quite narrow. Um, so I thought if you size up, then I won't have my toe claustrophobia where, I mean, yeah, they are quite big. My foot is like, let me put you down to the floor. My foot has got like lots and lots and lots of room, but I am weird like that with the shorts. <laughs> I see a little silhouette of a man's scalamouche. Can you do the fandango? Yeah, I wouldn't wear them with this outfit because it's purely not great, is it? Let me do it up. And then I will show you what the shoe looks like. But I also got a skirt from New Look, which I might as well share with you because it is the only other thing I bought from another shop. Right, one sec. Let's do it up. Let's do it. Right. Let's put the camera down. Do we need to put the camera down a bit? A tiny touch here. Right. They're really, really pretty and dainty. I can lift my leg that way, see if the gym's paying off. <laughs> there we go. They're really pretty and actually are really comfortable. If I'd have gone for my size though, I feel like they go a bit narrower towards the toe. I feel like my wide toes. They'd be a bit much, but I'm thinking a long sleeve black t-shirt or like a little black vest with this skirt and these shoes. Tell me if I'm wrong. I love this skirt. So I've got a black tool skirt from um, Primark a couple of years back. Um, but I love in skirts at the minute. And I've got this from the, oh my breath again now. Um, <laughs> I've been going to gym, but you can tell I'm not fit yet. Um, 27 pound. I got this from Apricot section in New Look. But look at this tall skirt. I'm sorry, it's like the skirt of dreams and the elasticated waist on it is huge. They only had size 14s left. So I was like, I don't care if I'm an 18 on bottom, that will stretch, I am wearing it, I am getting it. Um, and I'm glad I did actually, because it's a lot, a lot of stretch in this. It's 
It is beautiful. Love this skirt. I got one like this, it's from Coast a few years back. It won't fit me now. Um, about six, seven years ago, I think it's a size 12, and it's a blush pink with little like tiny gems all over it, which is gorgeous. It's in the loft. That's one of the things I did keep because I should sell it on Vinted really, and it had like a lacy top on it. And then I've also got like a navy dress. I think the dress might fit because it's like a vest on the top, but I love a bit of tool. I love a bit of tool. Yeah, I thought this was really lovely. So £27, pound, I got this with the little ballet shoes because I'm basically five years old. Um, so I got that and that is all I got. So I did think this was like a really great haul, but I like the top. This will look nice with some black skinny jeans, maybe a little tan belt and like a little jacket. Um, the jacket I'm going to probably wear on cardigan with these is like a military style boucle jacket with big gold buttons that I've got from Mango. So a little black vest, that jacket, this skirt and these shoes. This skirt, shall I go and change it for a bigger size and keep it or should I just take it back? Um, I don't know. I think for summer, that'd be really lovely. Even with like a little, little white vest top or t-shirt and just some nice little sandals. Um, the dresses, do I sew a button in? Or should I just take it back? I don't really know. I think I love the style of the dress and I think it'd be a shame to send it back because I've seen some other brands more expensive and it looks just kind of the same. But that's the kind of thing with Primark, isn't it? It's the quality of stuff. Like, they've just knocked it all out. And it's not often I get buttons missing, but you do get buttons missing. And you can go to somewhere like Tesco's or Asda, and the quality of the clothes is slightly better. Prices are around about the same, and you don't get problems like that. You'll find you do get a lot of problems like that with Primark stuff. And I do like the teal dress. Maybe I'll just keep one of the dresses, because I've got a lot of dresses. So would it be the teal or sew a button in and keep the florally one? Let me know your thoughts. I'm also... Loving these vests, but I think they will be nicer, not with skirts. I feel like they're bunching here and not doing much. But once they're with jeans and they're brought down to the full length, I feel like they look much nicer. Um, so, yeah, this has been my little Primark haul, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a little thumbs up if you want to um, and if you enjoyed it. And take care. See you later. I'm Rosie Henshaw. Bye.